Hello, welcome to Science Chomp. Today we're going to be looking at Millikan's oil drop experiments. This was done in 1913 after Thomson and Rutherford did their experiments. Here we see uh, a crude diagram of the apparatus that he used. He's got a box of two chambers. We've got a plate here with a hole in the middle and obviously this is the bottom. Here we've got like a microscope and I've kind of drawn a human here so they can focus and see any drops of oil which float down to the bottom here. These are drops of oil and they're dispersed by this atomizer. So an atomizer is something like you'd have for perfume, you squeeze it and it just turns into like different sized drops. Okay. As the oil drops, we have x-rays which blast, uh, blast the air and ionize the air. And what ionizing means is that basically the air molecules get stripped of their electrons and these electrons are added to the bits of oil. So now all of the drops of oil, they've got different, uh, different amounts of electrons and they're all different sizes. Okay, so that's something to bear in mind. Normally it'd fall down to the bottom, but if you turn on the electric uh, current, uh, so you've got a, a positive plate here and a negative plate, because these things are negatively charged, you can attract them towards the positively charged plate. If you turn it all the way up, maximum power, the uh, oil drops would just fall and then get attracted and stick to the uh, positively charged plates. If it's not strong enough, it will continue to fall down to the bottom. Okay, But at a particular um, strength of electric uh, current, what you can do is you can float an electric, sorry, an, an, an oil drop in the middle. So it's kind of floating. And if you have a look at a free body diagram, so if I get rid of all of this, okay, if you have a look at the free body diagram, we see, so that's your drop of oil. Down here you've got Fg. Uh, Fg is the force due to gravity, and this is calculated by mass times gravity. Mass itself, now remember they had a microscope so they can see, and if they can see it and they had a little scale by the side they could work out the volume, and mass is worked out in density times volume, so that's how they work out the mass. And it's equal to Fe, the, the electric force, which is worked out by Q, not G, Q, times the applied electric field strength, like so, the mg equals qe. Now we know that, because we can calculate it, this is a constant that we know because, um, you know, that's the one that they were tweaking. So you rearrange that and you solve for q, which is the charge of the electron, or rather, in this case, the charge of the, the oil drop. But here's um, the other thing, each oil drop is a different size, and each oil drop had a different amount of charge. What they found was in each case the charge of the oil drop was a whole number multiple of minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Okay, And so he concluded that this was the, uh, was the charge of the electron and that's basically Millikan's contribution to atomic theory. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.